Hey, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be combining two comfort foods from opposite ends of the earth. It's tteokbokki carbonara. So to get started, let's place 100 grams of sliced up pork belly in a cold pan over medium heat. This will replace the guanciale that's usually in carbonara, and it'll be a little play on Korean samgyeopsal, one of their most popular barbecue meats. Let that cook until the fat renders out and the pork gets nice and crispy. While that's going, we can cook our pasta, in this case, duck or Korean rice cakes. So let's fill a pot with water. And add one of these anchovy kelp packets. What we want to do is make a dashi or yuksu, which will add a little extra flavor to our duck, and we'll also use some of it later on when we make our sauce. If you don't have these, you could also make a dashi out of kombu and katsuobushi, or dried anchovies and dried shiitake mushrooms. So bring that pot of water to a boil, then we can remove the tea bag and add in a couple servings of soaked and rinsed duck. This will get rid of some of the excess starch so that our duck is not gummy. And these only take a few minutes to cook. So once they're soft and chewy, strain them out and throw them in with our pork. Toss those guys in the pork fat to get a little bit of crisp on them. Now we can work on our sauce. So into a bowl, crack six egg yolks. To that, we'll add 60 grams of grated pecorino cheese. A few cracks of black pepper, and a few pinches of koshigaru, or Korean chili flakes. You can use as much or as little as you want here. It's really up to you how spicy you want it. Mix that well, and then we can add in a little bit of our yuksu from before. And now mix this thoroughly until a creamy sauce forms. Now let's add that sauce to the pan with our duck and our samgyeopsal. Give everything a good mix. Feel free to add a little bit more yuksu if it's looking a little thick. Now we're ready to plate it with a little extra kochikaru and a little extra pecorino. This is blowing my mind right now. It is carbonara, but it's spicy, it's creamy, it's got that sharpness from the pecorino, it's got those little bits of meatiness from the pork, but it's also got this underlying seafoody umami coming from the dashi, and it's got a little bit of smokiness and a lot of heat from the gochugaru. Honestly, this is a really interesting and fun combination of flavors, and if you're in a weird mood where you can't decide between Korean and Italian, then go ahead and make this, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. See you next time. Cheers. Oh.